Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am always in thrift shops looking for high-end style home decor for a lot less than retail. And last week I showed you some ideas for styling your holiday table. And this week I'm showing you how I'm decorating our living room for Christmas. As always, I'm using a mixture of thrifted finds and new items and aiming for a classy but laid back and simple look. So come on and join me as I decorate for Christmas. Well, hello and welcome to my Christmas Decorate With Me video. I've been eagerly waiting to get this one out for you all. And I'm going to be starting with my mantle, which is probably my favorite spot to decorate for the holidays. You can see the command hooks there that I'm using. I'm just placing those on the top of the mantle with the hook kind of facing towards me so that it gives the garland something to hold on to and not just slide forward and off the mantle because I do want it to have a draped effect, just hanging a little bit forward off of the mantle itself. I'm gonna be using three pieces. They're all different sorts of cedar, and you can see now that all three are placed, and I'm doing an asymmetrical placement this year with more of them hanging towards the left and off the side. On the right side, I'm stacking these two different prints that I got the prints themselves downloaded from Etsy. They both had a black background, so I thought that they went really well together, and then I've just put them in some frames that I already had. I made this baby pine cone sort of sprays that I'm adding into the garland by just taking a box of baby pine cones from Amazon and gluing them onto twigs from the yard. And I love the texture that that adds to the garland. Now I'm just putting my pine cone taper candle holders that I got from a yard sale on the left side. And I'm just playing with different candles that I own all thrifted to see which ones I want to use. And I decided on those big fat black ones with the gold marbling effect that are very moody. And then on both sides at the very corner, I'm adding some dark red velvet ribbon. This is the same ribbon I've talked about multiple times this season that I made from cutting up some velvet pants that I got from the thrift store. And so I made lots of dark red velvet ribbon from those. I'm just putting those on the corner. And as you can see, I have a cute little helper here who's really just in the way. I have to keep stepping over him at every turn, but it's totally worth it. I've added a simple cream colored stocking for each of us, including what I made for curry. And I had these wire stocking tags customized on Amazon and I will link those for you. And that's basically all I'm going to do for my mantle this year. I'm keeping it very simple. I wanted a nice clean but rustic look and I think the pine cones add that rustic touch. I think this is a very simple formula using a large mirror in the center, putting two stacked pieces of art on one side and on the opposite side, something taller like some tapered candlesticks. Just a simple formula that you can easily follow for pretty much any season. And I'm loving how this looks and I'm ready to move on to my next stop, which is going to be the Christmas tree. In our living area, the Christmas tree lives right next to the mantle. And so that's one of the reasons that I placed the garland kind of tapered off the left side of the mantle is because I didn't want it on the right side, right up beside the tree. It would look a little out of kilter if I did it that way. Now this tree is made by National Tree Company. It's the seven and a half foot Fraser fir and it was sent to me by Lowe's. So thank you so much to Lowe's for partnering with me on today's video. I love the real touch tips on this tree and the overall shape of it, how it has some pieces that kind of stick out farther than others and just a more realistic shape in general so i was very excited to set this one up for this year and as you can see i've already got on it some garland two types of garland actually one that is from amazon those are those kind of dark copper gold beads and then also the little jingle bell garland that is from mcgee and co i showed you in one of my previous videos i can link to both of those as well as certainly the tree itself which is on sale at lowe's right now for a pretty deep discount so ch definitely check it out for this season so i went ahead and did the garland before I started the video and the first thing that I'm going to be doing to decorate the tree is taking some of my kind of spare sort of just gold um, ornaments you can use either gold or silver for this idea but basically I'm placing those very far back deep into the Christmas tree um, kind of deep set in order to reflect some of the lights and just make it have a fuller look the next thing I'm doing is taking some of those thrifted dark red ornaments that I showed you in my Christmas haul video and spreading those out along the whole tree Next, I'm going in with some dark red velvet little bows that I picked up from, I think, Temu earlier this year, but you can also get something similar 
from Amazon in multiple different colors. These have sort of a little twist tie on the back, so it makes it really easy to just twist that around the branch and hang them rather than tying a bow around the individual branches. So I appreciated the quickness of that. And then I'm going in with this set of vintage ornaments that I picked up at the thrift store, I think last year, and I showed them in my Christmas video last year as well. But this was a assorted set that I picked up. This is off season. So it's just another reason and example why you should look at seasonal items even when it's not that season because I think it was the summer or maybe the spring when I picked these up for only $12 for the set and I think that these are just beautiful so I will definitely be using these pretty much every year for the foreseeable future. I really love them. And I just like to start with the larger ornaments and kind of place those around. All of that vintage set is pretty large, so it makes it easy. Just kind of spread them around evenly on the tree so that no two very large ornaments are right beside each other. And I'm also going in with just a couple of my DIY ornaments from last year. You could see the leather ones that I had made from the belt last season. And then kind of after the fact, you can see that my clothes have changed here. It's because it was a different day. Um, after the fact, after I thought I was done, I came across these oversized flock ornaments from Michaels and I really liked the color of those. So I'm just kind of going back and adding those after the fact, even though typically I would start with those since they're larger. Um, but what I did was just go ahead and place those in the tree. I didn't even bother hanging them with hooks since they're larger. I just kind of nestled them into different spots on the tree. And so that completes my tree for this year. I love the deep red colors and also paired with some of the coppers. I went with both gold and silver mixed together. I think it's a really sweet look for this year. And then one more thing that I did in this area was I revisited the mantle because it was just looking a little bit too cluttered over here for me. So I went and I took those three lanterns that you saw off even though I had planned to leave them there for the season it just was looking like a little bit too much of a visual clutter over there so that's a solution sometimes is just to remove something and see if that helps you appreciate your design more for me I think a little more negative space in this area with the tree and the, and the mantelscape made it pop a little bit more for me and then for my textiles this season, I'm not actually switching everything out or anything like that. A lot of my textiles, like these pillows right here from Pottery Barn shown that I thrifted, are neutral anyway. So I'm just adding in a few touches like that L.L. Bean plaid throw blanket. That was wool. I found it at the thrift store a while back and I absolutely love it. Adding that on one of the chair arms and then over on the sofa, I'm bringing in this chunky waffle knit oversized throw to put across the back and then I'm adding in just a couple of different pillows. That one on the far right is from Target. It's from this season. The one in the center is from Amazon. I've had it for a while and then the dark red one on the left is one that I found at the thrift shop and it has a velvet on the one side and that is the dark red side that I'm using this season. For the coffee table in our living area, one thing that I already knew that I wanted to use this season was this Family Christmas Treasures book that I thrifted a while back and I believe I showed you in my video. I wanted to just kind of have it open to one of my favorite images inside that, so I started with that one, add back some of my regular coffee table books, and one of my favorite two-handled vases there. I also found this little candlestick holder just a couple of weeks ago. I thought it was really pretty, and so I'm trying my homemade DIY sort of tree candle in that. I also picked up this little tray that looks like an ornament from Michael's in my latest trip where I picked up those flocked ornaments and I think that this was really sweet. It was 50% off and so I went ahead and picked it up and in the middle of that I'm just placing a bundle of real cinnamon sticks that I also got from Michael's on sale and those are wrapped up with some of that same velvet ribbon that I used on the mantle. The bonus of course for this is that it makes the whole room smell so good just with that one bundle of cinnamon so that's a really good idea if you're looking for some little item to sort of be on a tray or an accent piece it also has smell with it these two stems that i'm putting in the black vase are also from michael's which was the reason that i actually went um, i tried some norfolk pine there at first and i just didn't really like the look of it so i found these little stems there a different sort of pine that also has some pine cones and i like the look of that but once again i'm just playing and kind of looking again because something wasn't looking quite right to me so i decided to remove one element i do find again that oftentimes just removing something tends to help rather than piling on more and more stuff so I just went ahead and removed that little candle holder from this area for now and made three groups instead of four on the coffee table and I'm liking it better 
Now for my console table this year, which is on the other side of the room near the stairs and the entryway, I'm starting with the lamp that was already there. That was a DIY that I did in a previous video that you can watch with the link above. But I just tied some of that same red velvet ribbon around the lamp just to tie things together. And I know I want these books over on this side as well. So I also added in this mirror in the center rather than some artwork that used to be there because for this season I think that having a mirror here to reflect the light from the tree is really effective. On the books on the left side I'm adding in one of my DIY vessels that I made a few videos back and adding some Norfolk pine stems over here where I think they look a little bit better. Um, and then just placing one of my thrifted bells right beside that. It's got another touch of that same ribbon. And I do think that you can go overboard with tying ribbons around absolutely everything. So I'm not putting them on the top of the mirror. I'm not putting them around that vase sitting right there, around the reindeer or anything like that. Just a couple um, to kind of tie things together and add some more of that deep red color that I'm using. I think that this is a great spot for those quirky little metal reindeer. I didn't really end up liking them on my coffee table, which was my initial thought, but I like them a lot better over here on a table that's kind of more against the wall. They just seem to kind of fit better over here for me. And I like that these metal elements are paired again with the velvet ribbon, which is much softer and much more feminine. I think that all together, this is just a nice look, but also very simple and laid back. And so this is the completed room. I'm really happy with it. But you know what's funny is, as I mentioned in previous videos, we are redoing our floors right now ourselves. And that involves a lot of mess and moving furnishings from room to room as you work on a particular space. And this room shown was the last big room downstairs that we needed to finish. So in an effort to get you this video out in a timely manner before the holidays, I set all of this up and decorated and then we had to move it out so that we could redo this living room floor which as you can see is carpeted so that is in progress now and I will show off the new floors which are from Stuga very soon and spoiler alert I absolutely love them but all that to say if you spotted anything kind of odd in this video like the bright blue underlayment peeking out from under the dining room floor or the random like top section of a hutch that you could see in the mirror reflection earlier just please forgive me it's chaotic when you're doing renovations but in the end it's definitely worth it so I can't wait to show you the huge impact that changing the floors out made and I'll go ahead and link to the new flooring just in case you're interested in seeing what it is and as well as everything that I bought new in this video in the description box. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment letting me know what you enjoyed. Also, if you would like to see more of these videos in your feed in the future, make sure to hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on so that you will know when I post a video. I hope that you all have a fantastic week. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving, have a wonderful one, and I will see you guys at the next video.